I'm Steve uh, with Air Guns of Arizona's Repair Department. And today we're going to be looking at the Wolverine Air Rifle. And what we'll be looking at is the removal of the barrel and putting new barrel O-rings, the external and the internal O-rings on the barrel. This is a very simple procedure and uh, shouldn't take no time at all. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll go ahead and put this uh, action in a vise and uh, take the barrel out so we can remove the O-rings and then install new. Uh, before I uh, put the action in the vise, uh, make sure that you have some type of leather inserts that uh, you can put on the vise. That way you don't scratch the cylinder. Uh, you don't want it to be metal against metal. We'll go ahead and snug that into the vise and we're ready to go. Today's uh, tools needed will be a three millimeter wrench along with a dental pick of some kind and then of course uh, the o-rings. We'll go ahead and loosen up the grub screws. There's two. If uh, you have a scope on your gun, you'll have to remove your scope. Uh, that way you can get to the grub screws. I'll go ahead and take them. I like to take them all the way out because whenever I reinstall the barrel, I want to make sure that uh, the barrel is lined up right. So we'll lay these grub screws aside and we'll go ahead and pull the barrel out. The barrel should come out fairly easy. So slides right out. As you can see, we have two O-rings on the outside, the external O-rings. And then there is, in this case, we're working with a 22 caliber uh, today, and there is an O-ring inside the barrel, the internal O-ring. And so procedure is very easy. It's a matter of just taking a pick and removing the O-rings. If the, these O-rings are in good shape, uh, then removal, removal of these O-rings uh, are not necessary. I'm just showing what needs to be done if you are going to replace those O-rings. Uh, the internal O-ring is a little harder to do. You gotta get inside and you've got to make sure you got a nice pointed pick. That way you can pull that O-ring out as follows. Now we have that O-ring out and we're ready to install our new O-rings. Okay, we're going to install the O-rings. Uh, very simple to do. Uh, the two outer O-rings will just snap into place. Uh, first one, again, look at your O-rings just to make sure that they aren't damaged, even though they're new. Sometimes I've seen an O-ring damaged before, so just make sure there's no cuts. They're in good shape. You could put, if you would like a a little bit of silicone grease around those O-rings. That way it slides back in easier without tearing the O-ring. And uh, we can do that right now. Put just a little bit of silicone on, just a touch. On the uh, internal O-ring, we'll go ahead and use a blunt tool that's not sharp at all. And uh, I'll need that to actually position the O-ring back into the barrel. Uh, the O-ring, uh, I kind of just start the O-ring in the barrel, and then I'll go ahead and take and position. The hardest part is getting that first part started into the, the groove. I line up that O-ring into this groove. And sometimes it can take a few tries. After installing the O-rings, getting them into place and feeling confident about that, we're ready now to install the barrel back into the action. Uh, as you can see, uh, there's some cutouts for the grub screws, and that's what we're going to line up. So whenever I took the grub screws out, I did that for a reason, and now that this is the reason. I'm gonna go ahead and slide the barrel back into the action, and I'm going to line up the grub screws marks. I can see them through the grub screw holes. Once I know that I'm in position, I'll go ahead and put the grub screws back into the action. 
not tightening the grub screws at this point. I'm just making sure that they are in the right position. Everything looks like it lines up right. If you have a magazine, you can try your magazine, make sure that it slides in. If it slides in, then you know that the barrel is not sticking out and you're good to tighten. Whenever I tighten the grub screws, I like to tighten the back one first, snug. The front one, snug. And then I'll go ahead and give it a little bit of torque, not, not much, just enough knowing that the grub screws are not loose. After tightening the grub screws and, and making sure they're, they're tight, uh, the repair is complete. Thanks for joining us on today's repair on the O-ring installation on the Wolverine, Daystate Wolverine rifle. If you'd like, check out some of our other videos. Have a good day.